Welcome back to Pound Mr. Channel. In this video, we will walk you through nine key points to consider when configuring your solar battery system. Whether you are planning to build a new solar setup or you already have one in place, understanding these basics can help ensure your energy storage system is safe, efficient, and reliable in the long run. Point one: Battery type selection. The two most common options are lithium batteries and litigy batteries. Lithium batteries offer longer lifespan, higher efficiency, and compact size, but usually come at higher cost. Litigy batteries are more affordable and widely available, but they have shorter lifespan and require regular maintenance. Lithium batteries often include a built-in battery management system, which provides protection against overvoltage, overcurrent, and overheating. Point two: Capacity planning. When sizing a battery system, think about three key things: how much solar power you get each day, how much energy you use daily, and how long you want your system to keep running when the sun's not shining. You can roughly estimate the required battery capacity using this formula: daily load multiplied by backup days divided by depth of discharge. Also, it's best to plan for future expansion at a design stage, and if possible, install your main capacity all at once. Point three: voltage matching. Your battery bank voltage must match the input voltage requirements of your solar inverter or charge controller. Common system voltages are 12 volt, 24 volt, and 48 volt for residential setups, and 96 volt, 192 volt, or 384 volt for larger commercial systems. You can connect multiple batteries in series or parallel to reach the voltage you need. Point four: Charge and discharge current. Make sure your battery's maximum charge or discharge current can handle the inverter's peak operating current, even with sufficient capacity. If the current limit is too low, it can cause slow charging, wasted solar energy, or inadequate output during high demand, especially at night. So ensure your battery system supports the actual current needs of your inverter. Point five: Communication compatibility. This mainly applies to lithium batteries with BMS. Before purchasing, confirm that the battery communication protocol is compatible with your inverter, so they can work together seamlessly. Point six: Depth of discharge and battery lifespan. Deeper discharges provide more usable capacity, but also reduce battery life. To extend the lifespan, consider limiting the discharge depths by adjusting the cutoff voltage or SOC settings. For example, setting the minimum SOC to 20%. Point seven: Installation environment. For legacy batteries, good ventilation is critical. During charging, they may release hydrogen and oxygen gases, which can be explosive if accumulated. Ventilation helps disperse gases and prevents risks in enclosed areas. Temperature control is also vital for both legacy and lithium batteries. High temperatures accelerate aging and may cause thermal runaway. Why low temperatures reduce capacity and increase internal resistance? Charging lithium batteries in low temperature can damage the cells, so keeping your system in a moderate environment is essential. Point eight: Series or parallel connection tips. Only connect the batteries with the same voltage, capacity, brand, and production bench in parallel. For serious connection, ensure each cell or unit has consistent voltage to avoid imbalances. If using multiple strings in parallel, keep all cables equal in length and thickness to ensure balanced current flow. Avoid mixing new and old batteries in the same system. Voltage differences may cause sudden in rush currents. Capacity mismatches make older batteries drag down performance. 
and a different internal resistance leads to uneven current sharing, which can stress new battery and shorten their life. Old batteries are also more likely to trigger under voltage protection and increase safety risks. Always replace batteries as a full group, not individually. Point nine: Safety and protection. A safe battery system requires proper protection devices, including DC breakers, fuses, or disconnected switches. To prevent short circuits, overloads, and reverse polarity, for high voltage systems like 96 volt or 192 volt, it's also important to have grounding, isolation monitoring, and an emergency shutdown switch. If your system is installed outdoors or in humid areas, choose enclosures with adequate waterproof and dustproof ratings, such as IP65 or above. And that wraps up our nine key tips for battery configuration in solar systems. We hope this helps you design a safer and more efficient energy storage setup. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.